Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of my Battle of Avicii campaign in Steel Division 2. Today we are going to be trying to take Battle of Avicii. Uh, we have most of our units getting into position here. We've got a couple of tank regiments which I'm hoping are enough to take the town because otherwise we're going to lose the campaign. I don't think these guards tank brigades are going to be anywhere near close enough in time so we are in a very sticky situation. Now we did manage to surround all of the units on the bottom side here in the last episode so we're going to just get out their way and, and get back to the roads and carry on to our own objective. We can leave them behind. No need to have these units here because they will initiate attacks desperately in order to slow us down. I am a little bit wary about these mechanized brigades. Your security regiments aren't a problem. That 33rd Panzer Grenadier Regiment isn't too bad. From Grela. There is the 118th Panzer Battalion, but Group Hartneck is the scary one, so I'm probably going to bomb that. Go ahead and bomb those tanks. They can't attack us. And then the rest of the units here. I guess could dig in, maybe. Because there's no way that these are getting to Palanovici in time, right? Maybe. There is the 474th Tank Destroyer Battalion here. We could just shift left. Possibly. Like, we could just do this. I'll bring these guys to follow. I might dig in these ones, and we'll leave those there to help defend. That's another Guards Cavalry Regiment and some artillery. Uh, and then this one can try and sneak on round. We are going to be attacking the 33rd Guards... Or 33rd uh, Panzergrim Regiment. Uh, these ones may as well try and go round. In with this one. And this one. Some recon up here. Let's uh, try and move them to this position. Okay, we've got two recon regiments going around the top side of Belenovici. I mean, there is a good chance for us to potentially encircle Belenovici with the recon regiments. We could do that, but I am going to want to fight for it. Now, the 611th security regiment is not routed anymore, surprisingly. Especially considering they were behind our lines. But it's not that bad. I left the 133rd and the 216th behind to deal with them, so I guess that's going to be an attack we make. What else can we do? I'm wondering if I should dig in these other units here. Maybe we should. Well, they're saying that I'm tempted to leave that one with full action points so it can reinforce in A. And then we move this one in between these units, prevent them from escaping. Because my tanks are going to continue to sweep left, so. These will remain surrounded. It's just they can break back to this area, potentially. If I move to here, the 37th Security Regiment might attack them. And we already bombed Group Hartneck, so... Yeah, this is kind of dodgy. I would have to bomb the Panthers as well. Yeah, we're going to have to bomb the Panthers. Okay. And these guys, well, they're just going to have to retreat. We'll just head up to the 4th Guards Cavalry Reinforcement Point. Go up and round. Stay out of the way of and out of range of the 49th Tank Destroyer Battalion. 
Okay. So, we have to destroy this 33rd Panzergram Regiment, so we'll do that. They're gone, lovely, and we'll continue onwards. And we've also got to destroy the 611th Security Regiment there. Now this unit, I think I might just have it come down with my Security Regiment there. Or well, we might not actually be able to cut off these units if there's units coming up the road. Okay. Alright, let's do this attack. I'm not going to bring in my fighters this time. I think I'm probably just going to bring in the 19th Motorized Rifle Battalion in C. Because we won't actually need that much to win this battle, I don't think. These guys are Citroens. I don't think they have... No, it doesn't look like they have any... Um, sub, no, transport, sorry. So we can probably run them down and uh, win the battle pretty quickly. So we'll just do it manually. I'm bringing in the other regiment so it like moves them forwards for us. Oh, it is breakthrough. Okay, that changes things quite a bit. Because they're already going to have the troops in position. And we'll have to go for the SGs to help us push forwards. Some machine guns in position. Actually, I don't need to do it that far back. We can go quite a bit further forwards. Although... Actually saying that, they do have AT rifles, so we're going to have to be careful of those. Uh, better to be safe than sorry, I think. We'll just unload early. Now uh, that's all of our points spent. The Moth Altos are quite nice because they do have a machine gun. That can be a negative, though, in some cases. Yeah, they're definitely here. You can see how the, the line's bending. You want to be careful. Okay, <laughs> we're unloading. <laughs> Let's do a runner. I don't think we lose the infantry unit if we lose the transport. I think we tried that before. We're just going to get those out of there. It's actually going to be quite an interesting battle. Right, slow and methodical battle for sure. What could I use to engage from a distance then that Actually I guess we could use mortars. We could we could use a mortar to pin down the AT rifle or AT gun. We actually have an AT gun there. I didn't think they had AT guns, maybe I just didn't check. It might just be one or two that they have. Which is why I basically thought they didn't have any. Oh, this isn't good. This really isn't good. Mortars are perfect in this situation. These 50mm mortars are really good for those kinds of engagements. So I just gotta hope my SG kills that. Alright, good. Saved. I can, of course, use my AA vehicles, but I've definitely got to shut down the AT gun first. Get the Israel's Vedka forwards. 
that mortar is going to do a lot of damage. It is in the open. It's not actually in cover. Well, it's in the garden, I think. There, we got it. Oh, there's the actual infantry squad. Oh, well, they do have those AT rifles on the Sidorungs. So we're going to have to be careful of the range on those. I'm going to have to try and get around behind those Sidorungs. Oh, look at all these mortars coming in. Wow. Oh, what did I lose here? Oh, that was my VZ VOD, wasn't it? Oops. The range on these uh, AT guns isn't actually that much, I believe. It's only like 300 meters as compared to the PTRD, which is like 500 meters. Oh, we're going to bump into those at close range, which is perfect for the Avtos. I'm going to get melted. That's what we like to see. Very nice. I'm going to push into the right hand side of that town. Let's push out into the open a little bit here as well. Oh, is that everything? That's all gone. Okay, good. Let's continue pushing up. Made a nice breakthrough there. Go up on this hill as well. Actually, I need to be careful of the Sidrung, so we will probably just stay on the edge of the hill ready to move up at a moment's notice. I continue to move these MGs over. Avtos don't want to be engaging there. Uh, let's bring in the Razotka. I do need to find that AT gun. And then we can mortar it. So we'll bring in another mortar there. Definitely something. 15 millimeter mortar. Let's go attack that. Oh, MG40, MG34 as well. Make sure we keep moving across. Oh, I did actually just lose my unit there. My SG. Well, that MG34 is dealt with, which is good. We can continue moving up on the left side. Looks like that's pushing quite far as well, which is nice. Move all the way up onto that hill. Let's bring some Gvardia to the center where we can push across. We'll destroy both those 50mm mortars very quickly indeed. Right, my Resvet Care have arrived. Let's uh, unload those. Get them into position. these guys. Start moving up there, see what we find. I guess the Panzerbuchers, or Panzerbuchsers, they will be discovered in the open by these recon vehicles. So that actually works out really well for us. Wait, what's shooting those? Oh, that's the Pack 36 Actually shooting us from the hill. Okay. Well, that reveals the location, so we'll mortar it. So uh, kind of good. It's actually moving away. All right, we're mortar behind. Okay. Uh, speed things up.
I definitely pinned whatever was there. Hands push across with the Gavardia. Right, okay, good. That's good. Uh, that means we can bring up the M17s. And one of my Resvitka just got killed. Uh, that was on the right hand side. Alright, well, we killed that. There's another unit in here somewhere. I'm gonna keep things sped up for the time being. Right, I'm just slow it down for a second because we just discovered quite a few units there. I'm going to want to be careful. Right, let's move down with the Avtos and if we discover an MG we can move forward with the M301. If it's an AT gun then we can just kill it with the Avtos. Those <laughs> M17s just melted that unit. Okay, so it was uh, an AT gun there. That's good. Taking care of that. Should die very quickly at that range. Good. Let's move up to the objective now. Nice. We'll continue the push across. Uh, we do have the next unit available. Let's bring in some Kazaki. And we'll push up onto that hill. I'll do some Kazaki here as well. We'll push into this town. Okay, cool. Let's just use these M17s aggressively onto these units in the open. We'll absolutely melt them. Ooh, we're going to be a little bit careful if they recover. Oh, and we've got to be careful if there's an AT gun there. There looks to be. I'm going to have to move up to there and unload. Let's bring in the other unit up here. Okay, cool. Alright, we're just going to unload these early, I think. Because I don't want them to get killed by the AT gun. We'll just give the attack move across like so. Same with this lot. We'll just do that. Right, and we'll speed it up. Although there is a limited amount of time for us to do this. So let's just get a move on. We can push 20. That'd be good. Actually, it's minor defeat already. That's good. Just unload them here. And attack, move forwards. Not sure we lost much infantry. I think it's just been the Resvedka vehicles. Right, job done. Uh, actually, we did lose the VZVOD. Yeah, a couple of units lost to... The AT guns there, just a few of my infantry got sniped. That's not too bad. Well, that should route the unit, and then we'll just want to kill it off. All 
Alright. Move on that unit. And this unit. Good. I am tempted to move this unit, but best to keep their action points, I think, at that point. Alright. That is everything moved on our end. We're one step closer to Balanovici. Let's end the turn. They're going to try and escape the encirclement, but I don't think they can. Not if they use up all their action points anyway. We can just stay in between them and the front line. Ooh, what's happening here? We're being attacked. The 3rd Recon Battalion. Ooh, they've actually reinforced this massively. The 1st Armoured Cavalry Battalion. This is Trans, surely. Yeah, it is. The Hungarians have arrived. <laughs> there are so many units here. I can't even think how we're going to win this. I feel like we've lost the campaign here. Hmm. Well, this is tough. We can reinforce ourselves with the Mortar Regiment in Phase B. What units do we have, though? We've got the Kazaki. So, maybe there's potential. We have AT rifles on the Kazaki themselves. We do. That'll be enough to take care of the Charbas for us. The rest of the unit is Lovis. And Shvaloza. It's not actually as much recon as I thought it was. If it was more recon, then we'd be able to, you know, just move our units forward from the start and take a lot of ground. So we are entrenched. Realize that as well. We are entrenched. All right, let's just bring in the mortar regiment. And I'm not sure what sort of units we're going to come up against. So I probably just bring in fighters. I think that's the safe bet. Because they will likely either use their own air force to attack us. Or they'll bring in the, the lighter tanks, like the Turans, which will probably be able to be strafed. Actually, we can't... Can we bring in fighters? I was just thinking about the AA circle. I think we can. Because our unit, it will be at our unit, which is just outside the AA ring, I think. Yeah, worth the risk. Let's just do it. And they're bringing in two air units, so good call on the fighters. It's just the recon regiment, but there's going to be a lot of little base. They have, I guess, at least 30 squads, right? Uh, what sort of fortifications do we have? Same as usual. All right, guys. Well, you know the drill. We're going to get some fortifications down, and I'll be back with you guys after they're all set up. We have set it all up, and it's basically just a bunch of MGs dotted about. These are the Kaz Maxims. They will have 1,000 meter range, and we've got them in heavy cover for the most part. They're going to be backed up by the Bunker Maxim bunkers, as well as the 45 mil AT bunkers. I've been quite liberal with the placement of these AT bunkers, because we are going to want them to shoot at the reinforcements coming down the road. We don't have to worry about any like heavy tanks or anything like that, so I don't care that they're going to get shot at from range. Uh, the only thing that might be a problem is mortars, uh, but I'm not sure the recon regiment has any. It's just going to be a matter of trying to mow down the infantry from a distance. And so I've just got loads of trenches out in the open with the Kazaki inside. And I've also got some trenches out in the open with the Kazra Vedka as well. These Kazra Vedka are the close range SMG infantry, so they're not going to reveal themselves at range. 
Uh, so they're only going to end up killing stuff if they get really close to the trench itself. That's fine. We can have them right out in front, give us all the information we need about what's coming our way. Let's launch the battle. You can see I've got some armed wire in places where I don't really want them to move troops through, but it looks like a lot of units on the right-hand side, which is okay. It's just... Uh, not fantastic for my defences. We've got basically the PTRD bunkers on the right-hand side. There's quite a lot coming in on the left-hand side as well. So I'm probably going to reinforce the right first. I have got a few gun pits around that I'm going to place OB-25s inside. So we're just waiting for the reinforcements. There are mortars. So 120mm mortars we're going to have to deal with. PTRD bunker should be able to deal with the 40M Sabers. Uh, there was supposed to be a trench there, but there is not. So, they're out in the open. Let's just go run out of line of sight. And we'll make sure that uh, we bring in uh, these OBs. There's one here, and there's another gun pit somewhere down here. There it is. I well, see. So yeah, I'm hoping the PTRD bunker does its work. We can bring in our fighters to strafe the 120 mil. That's not too bad. Well, those Kazvad Vedka already been found. I'm gonna have to hope that my 45 mil bunker can kill all this stuff. There is actually a Toldi. Oh, another Toldi there. PTRD bunkers. They've got. 35 millimeters penetration, so should be able to get through most of that armor at close range. But we're going to have to bring in the Ak-9 to strafe. My armor could cause more problems than I accounted for. Especially on this right-hand side. Make sure we get some close range infantry in to just kind of soften the blow. At least we pinned down that 120 mil. But there is a Focke fighter in the sky and we're going to have to be careful for another enemy fighter at some point. There's no doubt they will bring them in. Alright, that's going to move into the gun pit. That's good. PTRD has been pinned down. Hmm. Oh, we should be able to get that kill. That's nice. Let's see about just strafing the Toll D2A. I'm also going to make sure we strafe with this vehicle as well. Well, that aircraft, I guess. So we killed most of the light armor on the left hand side. If they bring them in piecemeal afterwards, then it's actually okay for us. I'm going to get my Kazaki to move up. It looks like that Kaz Maxim doesn't have line of sight. Alright, we got uh, PTRDs on target there. Good. I don't think the Toldy 2As have... I was going to say don't have HE shells, but they do. So you're going to have to be relatively careful. Right, hitting the Shabba there. That should get killed, actually. The Because it's only got 10 armor, the 20 mil cannon should be able to get through that. We'll wait and see. Right, we've used up all that cannon ammunition. Okay, that's good. That might have been the Kazaki there that got the kill. Not entirely sure. And left side's fine, right side's struggling. I might move over this Kaz Maxim. That 
mortar is a problem. What I'm going to try and do here is get the Kazaki close. There's mortars coming in on the left hand side. Those 120 mil mortars can kill our bunkers, and if they do, then we're actually going to be left out in the open quite badly. So and we're going to be in trouble if that occurs. We do have our own artillery coming in in phase B that we can use to counter battery. These F 22s should do the job. Saying that, we only. How many do we have? Let's say we only have three of those. Six in total. We lost that point briefly. These Kaz Maxims are so bad. Why did I think it would be a good idea to bring those in? Alright, the bunker's dead. ETRD bunker died. Which is not too good. Definitely just going to have to heavily reinforce this right hand side. Bring in some more fighters to help us out. Time to kill a fog wolf. Not sure we're going to be able to catch it, so I'm just going to allow that to leave. This one might get on its tail. No, never mind. Well, I'm going to strafe those low base. Zaki opening up there on the Lovis as well. Ooh, those ones are going to get wrecked by the Kazaki at close range. And this Toldi too as well should take a grenade to the face. Potentially, if it comes close enough. Uh, I'm probably going to focus on the Botond blow up that supply vehicle. Mm, Kazaki died. What I can do is just bring in like all of those PTRDs that you saw me bring in and we'll just try and spam those a bit. Our bunker's dead. The 45 mil here has died. Not good. Not good at all. They're coming for a strafing run there. Bit odd. Probably going to end up losing it because of that. Although they're saying that there is another one on the way. Oh, this is dangerous. We've done a nice amount of damage there. Let's see if we can get into range with this unit. That's good. Yeah, both of those fallen back. Uh, let's just make sure that these are dropping into the buildings close by. And we have all those PTRDs on target. That'd be good stuff. They fire pretty quickly. 
much faster than the bunkers do anyway. But I don't think the infantry is a problem. It is quite simply the armoured cars on this right hand side. We can stay on top of those and that's fine. Oh, not paying attention to my fighters for two seconds. One gets shut down. Not good. Let's uh, just make sure that our fighters are hanging about near their spawn. down. Yeah, it's nice to actually be able to use these PTRS squads for once, even if we are losing them quite a lot. Hmm. <laughs> All these all these Jabbers. Unload these earlier. Because otherwise, we're going to have problems. These ones with the SVTs are going to be pretty good against the Goya Solar Shock at this range, especially when they're out in the open. May as well just bring in the normal Kazaki as well because they do have PTRDs and machine guns, so pretty good for us, pretty good combo. I'm actually going to invest in some fighters to trafe these. Because we are having our units pinned down because of the amount of machine guns. We can get rid of the armor, and that'll help us out a lot. I'll strafe that uh, infantry while we're at it. Okay, nice. Killed both of those. Get the Akasok as well. Uh, they do have a grenade, so I'm going to have to be careful. Like a HG grenade. Going to throw it there. I'm going to move out. Watch it. Very good. Oh shit, okay. There's quite a lot of fighters hanging about. Okay, well we'll have those go to their spawn. That one can leave. We'll have the one that's engine overheating leave as well. Yeah. 
Alright, let's just uh, move these units back. Yep. It's not good. <laughs> We have lost that objective as well. Uh, I do have some AT guns that I could use, so let's bring those in. bringing in more fighters to hang around their spawn. I'm bringing a lot of units in here now, so let's go ahead and reinforce that area. Bring in the Kazaki, the close range Kazaki for the forested areas. Those Kazaki are currently being mortared. We have that fall back. Two more Focke Wolves dead. Still. Have these just like run back to spawn. We don't have to lose them. I think I need to use APCR, so we'll just have more normal shots. And um, we should be able to just pop those from a distance. One of my yaks was killed. That's not good. Oh shit, another one got shot down. Losing a lot of them. units to defend the town. Gonna be pretty important. Hmm. I do have another AT gun I can bring in here. I probably need to bring one in down here as well. Another two fog wolves. Fog wolves are scary, man. They can they can do a lot of damage. That's for sure. I don't think an ongoing engagement in the open is really to our benefit. I'm probably just gonna back off from that. I can just bring in some AA, but the reason I haven't brought in the AA vehicles is mainly because they have a lot of these charbers and these charbers can engage them at the uh, 750 meter range so that's a problem gonna have to bring in some kazaki here Just unloading these early because they were about to be targeted. Right, those are dead. They found a hole in our defense. Bringing in my fighters for straight from runs. 
I'll probably try and counter. Yeah, with a fighter or two. That's okay. After our strafing runs, we can just hold on to them. We did lose one yak there, but hopefully we won't lose another. I'm actually just going to have my planes leave. So we don't have to deal with like the extended engagements. Okay. And that's exactly what's going to happen here, isn't it? Well, I think that may be just one unit on its own on the right-hand side, which is really good for us. I am worried, though, because I've had to bring in pretty much all of my forces here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bit of a weird situation. How did they maintain line of sight there? That's really strange. Oh well. Well, they're pushing into this area now. We do have the Kazaki uh, with. the PTRDs there, so we should be able to fend them off, but we'll bring in the strafing runs anyway, just to be safe. dead at least. So many. So many fighters. Let's bring in these longer range guns. They can certainly help us out a bit. I could bring in the mortars, but it's just a matter of microing them all at this point, especially when we're in already a pretty sticky situation. I'm already kind of microing all the aircraft or the infantry. I don't know if I want to add artillery to that list. One of my two stars going down as well. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Hmm. This one's gonna be dead as well. Ouch. They're bringing in the Fogelwolf bombers now. They must be running low on actual fighters. 
Didn't we shoot down loads of the Fock Wolf bombers in the fighter thing anyway before? I feel like we did. That's two more of those gone. Yeah, so if I had like artillery on the ground right now, I feel like it would go very badly. Oh, I didn't press shift unload. <laughs> Bollocks. Yeah, I didn't press shift unload, I pressed um, unload. That's really irritating. Alright, well, I just have to attack move these into position. Oh dear, right. Well, we've taken a lot more damage here than I expected. I guess they have absolutely tons of infantry, don't they? These pesky Hungarians. How we didn't kill that, I do not know. I do not know. I guess the other thing we could do is maybe bring in the Adushkas for like longer range engagements. Actually, I wonder if we bring in the Viz 12s, we bring them both into one side and then we just bait the air engagement on one side only. Maybe that's a, a decent and efficient way of getting things done. Those ones ran out of fuel. The fresh ones that came in are on the right side though, so we'll have to bring them over to the... on the left side, sorry. We'll have to bring them over to the right. Uh, there's only one minute left in, on the battle actually, so... Here we go. This has been actually a very interesting battle for sure. Maybe we could have brought in the Ziz-12 sooner. I don't know. It is, the trouble is I'm so worried about like the longer range machine guns actually just killing them you know killing my AA vehicles but I don't know when else we'd use them I can use them for like infantry engagement I guess here for example it might work do you have some units further back that are sort of preserving themselves but it looks like we're going to lose another Kazaki there and these guys are very likely to surrender right now. We've got 24 seconds to save them. Just give them full back order so they run for their lives. And I guess I'll just bring in fighters to strafe. Okay, that's the end of the game. And 29 minutes, 10 seconds, quite a long one. 343 kills, 102 losses. 45 mil AT bunker there did well for us. Wow. That was pretty ridiculous. Like, how many Fockles did we kill again? That's like 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 <laughs> for Cool Wolf 190s, and a lot of armored cars. Now we lost quite a lot of units. Those Kazaki Maxims are really bad. I reckon if I'd Instead of using the Kazaki Maxims, kind of focus more on the Kazaki PPSH in like bunkers or like in the trenches, kind of like I did with the Avtos, then maybe I'd be in a better spot. But 
Either way, we won, so that's a start. But uh, that was a defensive battle at Balanovici, which is something that, yeah, I'm, I guess is okay for us because it maybe deals with one of the units there, but it's only the recon unit. And that's only the recon unit. The amount of units we had to kill then was ridiculous. Alright, well a lot of those Hungarian units actually moved away. But a lot of them are now digging in. That's the other thing we're going to have to deal with. All of the blooming fortifications. My, my. This is going to be certainly... An interesting few turns. Yeah, we've got this turn, two more turns, I think, and then that's it. In order to win. All right. Well, <laughs> wish me luck. Uh, but unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, well, hopefully. Uh, win the campaign or at least you know move on towards that aim we will have to wait and see but that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye